What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have Patreon request from CM Nate. Toru Honda from Fruits Basket. Okay, so I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So let's start with our eyes. They're closed, which makes it nice and easy for us. So we just do curved line. Coming across like that. It does go underneath her hair, but it's still drawn in. It's one of those animes that you can kind of see the eyebrows and stuff underneath the hair. So we'll just add like little spikes for eyelashes there. And then you'll thicken it up. So bring that across and just color that in. Right. And then maybe a line just come in this way as well. And a couple of eyelashes sticking off here. Then our eyelid line up, over, like so. Other eye over here, curve it over, like so. See, I see now we're sort of diagonal. This eye is kind of lower down than this one, right now, when you're horizontal, straight across. So straight across, down, and then curve it over. You're about eye width over. So the width of that eye should fit in between. And then thicken this up. Add a few spikes just on the end and darkness. Eyelashes. Then eyelid line comes across another sort of little line coming down from it there her eyebrows are quite high up right so up here go down like so and another one on this side and then you just add a little spot inside that to sort of where you could put some brown hair color real thin now And then her nose line coming down from there. So something there. And then her nose itself slightly to the left. So we're not like right in the middle. So that if this was the center line, you just come over a little bit and draw the bridge of her nose. And then leave a gap and the bottom of her nose. Right? So she's smiling, mouth open, like looks like she's laughing, right? So we'll just make her look sad for a second. And then we open up the mouth, curve it around. This side, curve it around on this side. And these don't join, there's a little bit of a gap here. And then her tongue curves up and down, sort of there. It's like more on this side than the other. And her bottom lip, like so. And then her chin, real pointy, right? So pointy sort of chin here. And then this goes up this side for a jaw. And we don't go up as far this side because her hair comes down. But here, just you're kind of like underneath the edge of the eye and across from the mouth and then we change direction and go up the side of the face it stops about there because that's where we meet some more fringe so she's got this fringe coming across and then the long piece of hair that come down so on this side we'll do the longer pieces first say here that will go down off my page right the other side of this like so and then here maybe another line just there and our fringe is these square sort of piece of hair that hang down, right? And they, 
there's loads of them that just go across her head, right? Curving. That sort of stuff, right? It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. Just once you get the general shape and the direction. And then we have another long piece of hair. Goes down here, and this is this has a few things down here. So it's like a bit of a gap in the hair there. And then this goes up this way, and then this will go up, and it meets another piece of hair which goes down here. It's a bit more complicated than this side. Up and into here. It's inside of her head going here, and then we can just see her ear. Just there. There is some lines here, not much. They don't really draw much, it seems. And we can see her ear on this side as well. So we got a sideburn and the ear comes around like so. So imagine the jaw kind of goes up there as well. And then more sort of ear lines inside. And then she has these ribbons that hang down close to the ear, right? So one goes there. There. And there. Then the ribbon comes down, hanging down this, this sort of yellow ribbon there. And then her head comes out from here, so it goes around off the top of the page because it's an extreme close up, so. fit in the whole head and we just add these hair texture lines just there I think we might have some more sort of hair lines there and then over this side so we've got like some hair spikes sticking out here And then this just goes in behind here. And then we have another ribbon. So like a little tie here and then curving out and down. There and then this goes there. To there. And then her ribbon comes out here. Okay, so the rest of her hair goes down behind her neck, so we'll draw her neck and her back and shoulders and stuff. So a long skinny neck, it's the back of it, front of it curves out and down that way. And then her collar comes across that there, and the other side goes behind her hair so you can't see it. Shoulder then kind of curves off around this way. There's a fold line here. And then some blue coloring on the shoulder there. Collarbone, collarbone. And then her collar comes out this way, goes behind her hair, 
down for a shoulder and around. And we have, it's like a school uniform thing. So this goes down this way. Like so. Is she wearing a bag strap? It looks like there's some sort of strap behind her hair. Going that way somewhere. And some more blue. Going down there. And then the rest of her hair. Down like so. Texture lines for the back of her hair. Like so. And she has, so these marks on her cheeks, they're done pink, right? But we'll just do them in black, just so we know where they are and we can change them to pink after. So if you're doing it with color, if you have colors handy, you could do them with the color. Like so. Okay, that's it. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.